All right, so if you've been following this channel, you know that I put up my InFed Half Wave as my first uh, HF antenna at my apartment a couple of years ago. And after a few years of surviving outside, unfortunately, it's just not doing its job anymore. So now we're going to upgrade and we're going to be using a dipole. Now the reason I've gotten a dipole instead of another InFed is because through the years I've had some bad experiences with RF coming back into the apartment causing issues when I'm trying to use digital modes. And that is because the mechanics, I guess, or the physics of an infant half wave make it so that the transmission line acts as a counterpoise for the antenna. And yes, I've tried the ugly balance. I've tried a few options. They always help. But I decided to just go ahead and go with a dipole that has a one-to-one -one, um, inside of it. So this is a balance that I purchased off of eBay. It is a 40 meter balance. And I have put silicone around a lot of the little openings or possible openings to make sure that it's weatherproof. I'm going to do some further things once I get it outside. And uh, once I determine that this antenna is decent, I may do a review on it. Um, but this is what I'll be using. So we have about uh, 30 feet, 33 feet on each leg for about 40 meters. I will be using these little ceramic insulators on the ends. I have a brand new transmission line that I can put up. The legs will be hoisted in the two trees from the balcony. So that's what uh, this rope is for. So we're gonna use that to hoist up the, uh, the ends. And for the center mass, I have a PVC pipe that I'll be putting together with these two uh, hose clamps and that will hang the ballon or the center part of the dipole on top of it outside on the bow. So this is going to be an interesting little experiment. We might have to move some stuff around a little bit and once again I am in an apartment so I have to try to make it not as obvious that I'm stringing up an antenna. Even though I have neighbors who are not going to go into that. I'm going to try to put up the antenna. Hopefully nothing said about it. I'm going to try to make it as discreet as I can, uh, even though the wire it shipped with was this rainbow wire, which is fine. It's not a huge deal, but let's see if we can't go ahead and go outside and start working on this. I've noticed that because I live next to the interstate, I cannot do audio outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to film the video and then you'll hear me talking over explaining a little bit what's going on. So anyways, if you guys haven't like the video, make sure to like the video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so as well, and I will see you all outside. All right, so I've already set up my mass at this point. I put a lot of electrical tape or like rolls and rolls of it uh, to try to insulate a little bit against weather as well as uh, provide a little bit more tension resistance. Uh, so at this point, I've already got the, um, the antenna strung up with the insulators and I've tied on one end to this Gatorade bottle you see, which is I'm gonna use the hoist over the tree in just a moment. All right, here my wonderful wife is holding the camera. I've already in the yard here, and so my objective here is just to chuck this Gatorade bottle up so that one end or one leg of the antenna is gonna be nice and high in the tree. And uh, I didn't get it right down the middle because uh, I wanted a wider angle on the antenna. So by going on the left side there a little bit, it opens up my antenna leg uh, so it won't be as directional. I don't want a V-shape. I want as close to a 180 as possible as I can get here. But locally, the um, the method I used here worked pretty well, and on both trees I was able to get it first try. So here I'm just making sure there's a nice amount of tension, and everything's laying on a branch of the tree where it won't fall or collapse over time as easily. I just wanted something stable, and uh, so I had her check make sure it's nice and tight at this point and then I will go ahead and tie it off on the bottom of the tree 
Of course, I did it in such a way that if I need to go back and loosen it or I need to tighten it, I can just untie it and, uh, and adjust it that way. The, the first leg was down at this point, so I went ahead and I forgot the scissors, obviously. Of course, I forgot the scissors. So now it's time for the second leg. This one was a little further out, so the antenna didn't actually extend all the way to the tree, and you'll see that the rope, uh, the insulator is still hanging in the air here. But pretty much the same thing. I, uh, I chucked the Gatorade bottle over the tree once I have my rope uh, nice and, and uh, not knotted up anymore. I haven't done a video like this in a while, so sorry for the buts and ands and uhs and all that. It's taking me just a moment to get back in the swing of things. So, here I am just looking quite confused trying to figure out what's going on. Oh, so I had to tie the knot between the two ropes. I didn't want to have to retie the Gatorade bottle. So what I did was I took the, the, the rope from the other one and just pretty much tied them together. That way I wouldn't have to retie the Gatorade bottle. So, slung it over the tree. We'll see how this branch turns out over time. It's already drooping just a tiny bit when I looked outside, so it might be something I need to, to go back and retighten later. But this is the same deal as the other one. Pretty much just bring it up, and I'm going to uh, check, make sure it's not going to pull down as easily. Make sure I got a nice stable branch. I asked her about the angle a little bit to make sure that it's a good angle. And from there on, I pretty much just hoisted the uh, antenna back up. And we got a nice tight dipole. There we go. It's up in the tree, and you can see the insulator kind of floating around up top there. And here I am just kind of asking her about the angle of the antenna. I'm making sure it was uh, more than that 90 degrees. I, I should have actually hoisted this antenna up on the other side. But really I was just trying to get it done. That way I didn't have neighbors or police showing up trying to figure out what I was doing. To a non-ham radio operator... Uh, if it's not obvious, to well, yeah, to their everyday person, if they go out and they see their neighbor in an apartment, like, throwing up Gatorade bottles and trees with wires and stuff, they get a little suspicious, think I'm either on crack or trying to talk to aliens. Either one's it's not good for me, and a lot of times it takes a little more time to try to explain to them, or they won't believe me, or they think I'm crazy. Everybody's so connected to their cell phones these days, they don't understand a hobby being used for communication so that's one of the big things a lot of times I try to explain to people if they ask me questions you know what I'm doing or what it's about they really just don't get it but here I am just tying the antenna up in the tree like I did the other one make sure it's nice and low enough to where I can get there if I need it tighten it up if I need it and from here I'm just kind of checking out the the dipole and, and seeing how it works so here's some uh, images of the, uh, the finished result. And there we have it. We have our HF dipole set up. Uh, it is in a lateral V. Uh, that's because the trees obviously weren't at perfect 180 angles, so it's not the ideal, but it is, I think, around that 120 degree mark, so it's going to be almost the same. Um, I don't think we're going to get any directionality because it's not um, 90 degrees or less. We might get a tiny bit uh, if it's even noticeable, but I have already f fired it up, tuned it, tested it out a little bit. And honestly, it doesn't work that much different than my NFET Halfwave. Um, I think I get, I'm getting a little further out um, uh, east than I was before. Um, 
I started to pick up a little bit more uh, countries in Germany than I usually do. So I'm pretty excited to use it. The only thing that I'm a little disappointed in is the fact that I can't tune it to 20 meters. And one of you guys obviously will know the answer to this, but it is a 40 meter half wave. So I thought that it would be a 20 meter quarter wave, but for some reason when I go to tune my radio, anything on uh, 20 meters is completely untunable. So not sure what's going on there. I'm sure when you all have the answer, make sure, uh, please let me know down in the comments. And uh, if y'all, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. Please make sure you subscribe. And I really appreciate everyone watching. Anyways, 73 to you.